Hello everyone, this is Gloria with StampWithGloria.com. Easter's coming and this, I love this set. Um, I love the apple blossoms in the set and I like two watercolors. So I wanna show you um, just how to watercolor this image and some of the tricks of the trade that I use. This is called Indescribable Gift and it's in our mini catalog right now. With Easter coming, I'm thinking of spring and we've had a tough winter, so I'm all ready to get going here. Let me show you what the card's gonna look like when we're done with it. Um, here's the card itself. And this is done with just our watercolor paper. And I emboss the image in black um, onto the watercolor paper. So I've already done that here. Most of you know how to emboss, so that should um, work out pretty well. And then I um, also embossed in clear. I don't know, I hope you can see this. You'll probably see it when I scan the card and put it up on the website. But there's little speckles of white. It almost looks like I threw white in. I didn't. I used the gorgeous grunge set and the speckles in it and I embossed it in white and that creates a resist technique. So we've got a resist technique going on here. That's kind of cool. You can see the little speckles in the flowers down here. Just gives it a little bit different look. So how do we get this look? Um, I'm gonna show you how to do it and hopefully you won't get frustrated doing it. I know watercoloring is one of those things that people either love or they hate but um, I actually love it a lot, so I like to show it as much as I can. So um, I bought these cells from Joanne Fabrics. They were 50 cents a piece, and I use them for water coloring, and then I take our reinkers. So I just put some of the reinkers in the cell. You don't need a lot. Um, for this particular image, I wanted three different colors of um, pinks in the flower to make it really pop and that's kind of like our blend abilities too that's why they come in uh, groups of three is because you can go from a lighter to a darker and do some shading so I've got three different colors of pinks but I only have two different colors of greens because we can pull that color out and kind of manipulate it a little bit then the background is crushed curry and then of course baked brown sugar for um, the the branches of the tree but um, let me show you how to get this technique. I have um, some water and, my, and I have just a basic cheapo watercolor brush. In fact, I don't know, it looks like someone took a bite out of it, but it'll work, it'll work. We're just gonna get that all, um, we're gonna get that watercolor brush nice and wet. And then we are also going to use a spritz bottle with just water in it so here's the spritz bottle it's just you know your basic spritz bottle and um, we're going to first we're going to take and spritz the, the card so we want to get some water on here so that the ink will spread when we put it on I'm going to start with blushing bride I'm actually going to fill in the background of most of the um, flowers with blushing bride okay so that's going to be my lightest color all right I'm going to keep going and you can see it's, it has some brown tones to it so um, that's going to be great you know when I um, do the rest of the card but once I've got that color in I'm going to blot it right away I just use a napkin to blot it and then we've got that pretty little um, blushing bride color going on there the next color I'm going to take is pirouette pink and then this I'm gonna um, be a little more picky I'm gonna like really kind of pop in the color and now remember I dried this so now that I've dried it this color will be a little bit more intense because it's not gonna spread um, so much and okay looks like I'm gonna need a little bit more of that I didn't put quite enough in there there we go so now you can see that is um, kind of popping a little bit more. Okay, so we'll pop some more color into there. Do 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 do. Gotta love it. You gotta you gotta make the sound effects. This is my my customers always say. If we make the sound effects, will my pictures be better? Yes, yes they will. I think I've said that in another video before. It works for me, so that's why I'm saying it again. 
<laughs> I know I'm funny okay so now we've got all that pretty color in there and I'm gonna blot that again okay so that's gonna kind of blend it a little bit see oh look at that that's working good so then our last color um, for the flowers themselves is this pretty um, this is uh, rose red and we're gonna put that like on the tips of the flowers and like the rosebuds or the well this is kind of well this is a cherry blossom I guess so the middle um, you want to pop a little bit put a little on the edges <gasps> oh, it looks pretty doesn't it and then see here's that resist technique I was talking about I had I had embossed um, the gorgeous grunge in clear on it so now I'm getting that resist technique which is pretty cool all right so I, I love that effect but I want a little bit more watercolor so I'm gonna pop some um, water on there and then I want to start mixing some stuff so I'm gonna use the crushed curry and we're gonna start mixing the background remember you want to get in between the leaves too because they're not they're you know they're there they're not in la la land that kind of thing want to put the um, yellow on because it is going to bleed into other colors and become like a really kind of cool background so you want to put that on as quick as you can so that it will bleed into the other colors there we go boop boop see that oh I love it I love it oops I don't have enough water over there so you can just there it's just bleeding in don't you love that it's like whoa wow that's super awesome so then I'm going to take uh, some of the pistachio pudding. I'm going to start with the lighter color and plop in some color here. Now if you think it's too juicy, that's fine. Plop. There you go. Too juicy. Now it's awesome. Now you can always go darker with lighter watercolor, but you can never go lighter. That's something I preach about in the blendability video. Oop, that's a flower. We have to fix that. Um, in the blendability blendability video as well is that you can always go darker but you can never go lighter and this is a perfect example of that so I love um, what's happening there I'm gonna pop in some brown over here whoops get my brush a little bit wetter so pop in some brown give it some contrast and just let the watercolor go let it do its thing gotta love it see now how the blue came out there um, I would probably pick up some of the darker here, finish off this um, pretty flower right there. And this is too light for me, so I'm going to finish off that flower there. Whoop! There you go. Um, and then for the darker, well, let's do the baked brown sugar. This is the tree itself. You want to let let it kind of bleed. And then there's some more right there. Just kind of give it some brown, so it's kind of following it. Isn't that pretty? You like it? I know you do. All right, so then let's plop, pop a little color in over here. See, I made it bleed a little bit more. Let's pop that color in just to kind of even it out. There you go. Don't you love it? Okay, so now I'm going to, I'll let this dry, but I am going to take a darker green color and hit, hit the bottoms of the flowers here so that there's a little bit of contrast for that. So we're gonna do that right there. There you go. Now, watercolor is something that's kind of like magic. I always thought watercolor was magic. And you know, you don't have to be a perfectionist to do watercolor, you just gotta let the watercolor do its thing. And you'll come out with some, fan, you know, some fantastic looking, um, pieces if you'll just let the watercolor do its thing. So now you can see I've got the fun little pops of white here and the little sprinkles here and that's from embossing um, in white and on the original card I um, also used a memento pad and stamped the speckles in the background but I'm kind of liking this fun just kind of the whiter card I put more I embossed more speckles on here on this one so that's why it looks a little bit different but um, you do whatever you want you're the creative one let's see let's put that on there oops see oops, don't want to do that okay there we go 
let's put that on to your um, paper that's what it'll look like when it's done this will dry a little bit more intense than this because I blotted off a lot of that both really cool looking just a little bit different but a very easy card to do I hope you liked my demonstration and everything that I've shown here you can purchase at stampwithgloria.com. Have a great day. Thanks.